Welcome to a quick tutorial of the KSPRP Advanced Calculator. So basically at its core it's a calculator. Uh, you would put in like a unit you would want here and it prices it out and whatnot. Uh, you can say your own nation. We got Steiner for example. Back to me. You got a little dashboard here that explains some of your statistics. So my help inform your decisions. Same here, which is this is the quantities of the units you own. Um, also of note, uh, when you buy uh, ore mine, it'll actually add the ore that you gained that turn to your ore quantity the totals. You could also buy resources off the resource market or sell them. Uh, includes the premium market. And finally, you can make trades. So the way the trades work would be uh, you'd have to choose whether you are sending or you are receiving. Uh, I would send a little bit hard for you. Yeah, one. And you can pick the resource or just type it in. One dollar. Now, if you go to the purchase comment tab, all of the transaction you want to do is typed up for you. So you could just copy it and paste it and add comments if you want to for the multiple zero stuff. Uh, what was added to the calculator is actually the packages tab. So what the packages tab is, is essentially is if you wanted to buy units like individually, like literally just one of something without people, without personnel or anything like that, you put it in there and you'd get one tank. But in the packages tab, if you were to buy a tank, it would also account for the personnel that you would need. Um, and we we'll go back to calculator, it actually will add it. So you see we put in one here, but there's the two with the one coming from the packages tab. Taking it a step further, if we do something more complex like an aircraft carrier, it'll buy not just the personnel, but it'll buy the fighters as well. Now how I do this is here. So you can set in the packages tab uh, the quantities of each type of unit you wanted to buy automatically when you purchase that kind of unit. So in case of an aircraft carrier, it would come with the aircraft that you need, or uh, a helicopter landing dock, you'd, you'd come with the ground units that you'd want. Now, obviously this might not be the ground compositions or whatever compositions you would want, but you can change them to tailor it to your preferences. You just need to download a copy of the calculator to edit the numbers. Now, let's say we wanted to buy not just a carrier with planes already on it, but what about a whole carrier battle group that would come with a cruisers, destroyers, etc. So here we have unit compositions. And again, you might not agree with the actual quantities, but you could also change those yourself on your own copy of it. So let's say we wanted a marine expeditionary unit. So you'd go there and it would automatically buy the things you would need for it, at least as you set it in this composition. And again, you can set the composition to how you want on your own copy of the calculator. And all of this would be sent to the main calculator page and tab tabulated. And then here's your purchase comment if you wanted to buy it. Uh, you don't have to go everywhere to delete everything to clean up the calculator. There's a reset button here on the first tab and it resets everything including into the, the packages tab. Moving along we have the losses comment tab. So the losses comment is quite simple. You would put like whatever the two nations that are in there and literally just write the types of units that have been lost or captured uh, on either side and it creates a loss comment. This losses comment is not put into the purchase comment because they're usually done uh, as two different things for administration purposes. So, but anyway, you could get your comment here. Again, there's a reset. 
And what was added to this lost comment tab is now if you wanted to get like a rough idea of how many units uh, were lost, uh, if you organize your units this way, you could put in, let's say I know that uh, it was like an enemy division versus my division, and they just so happen to be the similar numbers. So we could be like, I would, let's say I had two divisions that I think I lost in that. So we would go back to the losses comment. And then you see it's imported here. Now, it would be me that lost it, so it would be Zix Federation losses, and then you can import the column. And so here, it imported all that. Now, then you could, of course, go ahead and adjust the numbers. So you can be like, lost 100 guys, and like 600 of these, and etc. And it'll adjust it there. Uh, so that's for the losses comment. And then lastly, there's just a tab for a little bit of fun, called for graphs. So here there's different categories. There's basically, what it does is it imports information from the sheets, the, the official sheets. So this would be like the military tracker sheet. This would be like the civilian tracker sheet. And this would be the main sheet. So here we have like total cities uh, is one example, total oil consumption. Uh, I mean battle tanks and then here is there's you can bring it down and uh, score there's like a drop-down menu for it all and you have it here in bar graph and in pie chart and uh, that's pretty much it so if you have any more questions just feel free to contact me and I'll be happy to answer them thanks